Hey there, Super Tech. Just uh, wanted to show you guys uh, how grossly overestimated we were with the uh, transistors on these uh, cube boards. Uh, we're running my mini AVR controller here. I'm just going to quickly reset it. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go through the Power On Self Test Diagnostic here, which just goes through each and every pin does the entire column for that pin and that draws about 160 milliamps and then what the self-test does is it starts filling the entire cube and then it sits there and it waits for its input so right now the entire cube is on sitting static it's drawing 670 milliamps at 5 volts. Now, if we drop the voltage a little bit, or if we go through some sort of semiconductor, that's going to drop a little bit. So, what we're going to do is, um, I'm just going to disconnect the power source here. Okay, board's off, cube's off. And this is just um, a 100 ohm resistor. I'm going to clip that into the circuit. And as you can see, the power light just barely kind of lights up. But the cube will not run through this 100 ohm resistor. It's just too much of a current drop. Oh, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a single 2N2222 transistor. So first we'll hook the transistor into the circuit. You have to excuse me while I try to do this one-handed here. Sorry. And of course with the transistor off, as you would expect, nothing's happening. Now, I've got it set up here so that I can just drop this 100 ohm resistor across the base and positive. Oops, helps to get it in the right hole. And there we go. We've started up. And now the current is considerably less because we are going through a semiconductor now. We're down to 90 some odd milliamps uh, for a full column of LEDs. And we're going to wait for it to fill up the cube. There we go. The cube is full. AVR is running. No problems. We're at 184 milliamps. So the LEDs are a not quite as bright as they could be, but um, they're still pretty close to full brightness, believe it or not. That's all running through that, tran that transistor, the single 2N2222, which is not even getting warm to the touch. Okay. And I'm just going to pull the resistor. And the AVR shuts down. So there you are, the entire cube run through one 2N2222 transistor.